And here I am at the break of dawn to play some poker. You up for a few hands? I am up for a, a few hands, gents. I wish I could buy a drink here. Like, it's just courteous to win money and then buy a drink the way I did last time. Okay, now I have. Wow, it's actually making my camera move still. Really weird. I'll just play expert. Alright, guys. It's good to see you all again. I don't know how you earned your money since the last time I took it. Me? I killed pirates. Alright, so I get to be dealer position again. Raise. Of course, that guy is always raising. Do eight. My hand sucks. I'll don't want to start with that. I fold. I like how conservative that guy. If these guys have personalities, if they bet according to a seven, he's got an ace. Okay, that's fine. Come to death. Wow. Okay, I've got to stop. I've got to stop. Because my camera controls are really weird here. Okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, it's still making my mouse move my vision. Even in menus and stuff, and it's making it hard to look around the table. Maybe if I load... Because that hopefully takes me out of the game engine. And now hopefully it puts me back into the game engine. Oh, come on. Yes, a fine piece of work. Now, tell me about... <laughs> I'm sure you will. All right, let's see if it works better this time. All right, now we're in business. Now looking around the table should be easier. There we go. Let's deal out the first hand here. As I was saying earlier, if these players play according to personalities, then I think I've already got a few of these guys already read. You're going to raise, aren't you? I'll call. Oh, you're calling. Okay. <laughs> then again, every time that guy has raised and we've seen his hand, he's had a fairly decent hand, at least some sort of face card, some sort of paint. All right, Queen, Nine of Diamonds in dealer position. That's worth the raise. Raise. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Wow. A small rate? Okay, that surprises me, actually. But I'll go ahead and take down the flop. Suited Queen Nine in dealer position? That's a pretty strong hand. You can do a lot with it. Okay, so we'll rake down our first pot. That guy seems to be really aggressive. If he's got a face card, he's going to raise. This guy seems to call, check, and fold mostly. And that guy plays really. Am I first? I'm first to act. Mm, first to act queen eight. I'll go ahead and call one, call. but I won't call a raise. I'm out. I'm gonna call. I'll raise. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So how much is in the pot? It's fifty in the pot. If that guy calls, it would be worth it. Uh. Well, now I'm actually in position because he's not on the button anymore because he's already folded. So that puts me last to act, meaning I've got. All right, the reason I'm going to call here, even though I said I wasn't going to, I am playing shut up. The reason I'm going to call here is because I'm, I've am i got position on these guys now. I've technically got, quote, the button, even though I don't truly have the button. Um, and if he calls, it'll be worth it. So I'm going to gamble, 
and hope that he does call to make the pot big enough for this to be worth it. I'll call. Oh, fuck. Ah, he's gonna get out. Okay. So, the pot not really worth it. I have to hit here. Huh, 7-2. <laughs> Is that what you got? Okay, you raising with 7-2? He's got a pocket pair. He has to have a pocket pair in his hand. Let's go ahead and fold and see what he does have. Take it. Oh, wow, he nabbed a flush on the flop. No, he didn't. That's a heart. That's a two of hearts. Well, he had a pretty good draw, though. That's how it's done. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's done. Like I said, this guy's very aggressive. He had a flush draw and ace high. Well, a couple. Yeah, he had a pair of twos, of course, but so did I, because they were on the board. So here I am posting big blind. What are you going to do? Probably fold. I'll race. <laughs> Man, I'm having a hard time reading these people this time. Raise, call, call. Now, this guy has ten generally been pretty tight. 4-8, definitely folding. Raise, call, call. We've got to be up against some decent hands. Two clubs up there. All right, so this guy's got a good hand. All in? Of course you're calling. This guy's got a really good hand here. Let's see, what, let's see what's coming out. Seven eight. Okay, well he's got his ace. Hmm. I don't know if. Well, he had top pair. All right, sweet. So all this all in stuff, Jonah. I mean, all this all in stuff with all these players. I think this is what I was going to mention earlier. Um, I think it's because I'm playing on expert that the players around me are like really extremely aggressive. I think it's meant to put pressure on the player, thus me. It's meant to put. Not, not the player of poker, but the player of Far Cry. It's meant to put pressure on the player by making them deal with a lot of raises and a lot of all-ins. But what ultimately ends up happening if you're playing on Expert, and this is just theory, I haven't tried the other difficulty levels yet, um, but I think if that is the case, what ends up happening after a short time is everybody at the table busts out really quickly, resulting in a fairly short poker game. Which is why I was going to try one of the lower difficulties just to try and make the game last longer, because I don't think that the other players would be quite so aggressive on the lower difficulty levels, um, which would lead to a longer-lasting multi-handed game. That's how it's done. Which is just a theory of mine. I don't know if that's actually how it works. They may very well be just as aggressive on the other difficulty levels as well. You gonna buy back in, man? Alright, we'll play three-handed for a bit, but I fully expect a lot of all-ins still. So it's to me. Jack-9 on the button. We're going to give a decent little raise here. Gonna raise. I raise. Wow, he re-raised me. And this guy's calling a re-raise. Hey. Call 30 more? No. This is too weak of a hand to call a a re-raise re and a call. Got to get out. I fold. Yoda. 755. Five. I'll raise you. We've got a bet. Cool. And he's calling. I raised. <laughs> oh. That guy was drawing to something. Alright, what are you raising so hard with? Okay, so he's sitting there with pocket queens. I figured. I figured Queen 8 was no match for whatever that guy had. And it's my guess that, um, I don't know, this guy, I don't know his name, I had a feeling that this guy had something like a straight draw, and perhaps a flush draw as well. He must have had suited connectors, that would have been my guess. So here I'm in big blind. And our buddy here is first to act. Alright, we got a call. I'm in big blind, I can just check if I want to, but I'm not going to, I've got an ace in a small-handed game, or a short-handed game, so we're kicking it up. Gonna raise. I'm out. Alright, cool. Give me the pot. Oh, I can't believe I won. I can't believe I won. I'm horrible at this game. What are you talking? Are you still talking to me? We were just playing poker. You're still surprised to see me? That guy's crazy. Like, he's actually insane. Eh, queen three. I'm gonna cool. 
Queen 3 would be worth a raise if I was in position. I am not. I am first to act after the flop, so I will just call 5 and hope this guy doesn't raise. Call. I'll raise you. Ah. I fold. Each time that I hope he doesn't raise, he actually does raise. I, fold. I don't want to be first to act with that. That's how it's done. But it was just 5 extra dollars to try it. Also, I don't know why my camera is making me do this, but every time I finish a hand, it makes me look straight to the right. Like directly. I think this guy keeps calling me Gilda. Or he's talking to those flies and calling him Gilda. First to act. My hand sucks. I'm calling. Chicken. Wow. Very passive play from both of these players. Chicken. Chicken. Miguel Abdul. Okay. Gotta remember that. Abdul's to my left, Miguel's over to my right. I'm gonna check. Chicken. Okay, so these guys actually have absolutely nothing in their hands. Check. I'm gonna check. Let's see what you guys got. Low pairs, high card. 7-2. <laughs> that guy has the worst hand possible. But Miguel goes... Miguel takes it down. With his higher... This is no ten. What do you mean you had no chance? Whatever. You weren't even really playing. You were just checking, checking, checking. He could have bet and won. That's his chance. Okay, so I like seeing how these guys are playing. This is good. I like that I get to see their hands when they're done. All right, Abdul, what you got? Not with this hand. So, I'm guessing that was a raise? Ooh, I'll, I'll call that. Calling. Four, two, and five. I am first to act. I'm gonna go ahead and raise him because he raised. I believe it was right. Yeah, because he raised. I don't think four, two, or five would have hidden. Plus, it's totally a rainbow board. Unless he's got an ace in his hand, in which case he might want to draw to the three. But if he does, then we'll split because I've got an ace and I've got a ten that I can also hit that'll make me happy. So let's go ahead and raise him up. I'm pretty sure he's going to fold. Make a $30 bet into this pot. Let's sweeten the pot. I'll get you next hand. Yeah, he's out of here. Really didn't figure 4, 2, or 5 would have hit him. So here I am with high card ace, pulling down a $95 pot. That's how it's done, ladies and gents. Digging the music. It's nice. It's good poker music, put it that way. Cool. Miguel's calling. It's five to me. Oh, <laughs> looking down at that, even in a video game, is so beautiful. I love looking down at pocket aces. Oh, it just feels so good, doesn't it? For you poker players out there, don't you love just doing that? <laughs> All right. Um, do I want to try and bait them in? And come on. Take I'm gonna on. call and hope that they will hit something small on the flop. I call. I'll check. So he's got nothing. He's just checking. This guy... Hi there. This guy, we don't know. He called. Alright, so I'm going to check this and hope they hit one of those cards. Rainbow Flop. This is a perfect board right here. It's so uncoordinated. A perfect board for my aces. I'm going to check it. I'm going to check. I'll raise you. Yes! I'll raise you. Wow, a raise and a re-raise? This could be like a colossal pot for me. I'm just gonna call. I call. I'm calling. So that he'll call and I'll add more to the pot. This is a very large pot. So this is how aces work, alright? Oh man, that could have made somebody a straight. But I don't really think so. This is how aces work. They either win you small pots or lose you big ones. That's aces for you, man. Alright, I'm gonna check this and let them bet again and then I'll go all in over the top of them. I'm gonna check. I raise you. Let's see if you blink. All in. Okay, so that guy's all in. I'll go ahead and go all in myself. This is a... Oh, this is such a crazy hand. Let's do this. I call. <laughs> How freaking crazy is this? 6-3? Oh, man, you're kidding me. He did hit his straight. So... At least I got... <laughs> Abdul wins with the straight. Jason Brody 
me, bust out, hey. and Miguel. Well, that's side pot one, but it doesn't matter. At least I get a little bit. No, actually, I don't. I don't get anything out of it. That's how it's done. Yeah, yeah. I have been eliminated. Let's play again. Hopefully, the fourth player comes back in. So that turn, actually, when I said that could have made somebody a straight, I was worried about Abdul having the straight because I figured he had such low cards because he just checked before. What I was hoping is he hit like his three or his four or his seven. But he checked preflop, telling me he had rags. He had absolutely terrible cards. So I was like, okay, I can actually work with that. Um, but then that five just ruined me so hard. Let's go and play again. Just because I want to see if their play changes any, if I drop down, I'm going to go ahead and drop down to skilled. I've got like so much money in this game, it doesn't matter. And hopefully we get all four players. We do. This is going to be great. Oh, look at the chips. They changed color. Alright, so here I am in dealer position again. Even though I just lost $250, this is still really relaxing, just sitting here playing this. Alright, Miguel. I don't know that guy's name. 5-6. I'll race. I'm wow. bowling. So that guy's doing the raising now. Call, call. Alright. Well, 5-6 would have been a good hand if I knew everybody was going to call a raise. And I actually probably would have won with 5 queen race. queen. Nope. I fold. Maybe not. I'll race. Fold. Wow, these guys are still really aggressive. So we got a bet and a raise. He's in there with a queen. Very nice. This is fantastic. Isn't it though? Lime green chips for skilled players. Experts get red chips. Skilled players get lime green. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that. So here I am first to act. The pots are really small at this. Bold. Let's make this interesting. I call. I call. Wow. Raise call call. I check. Jonah Chicky. is his name. I raise. Check check raise. My hands suck. I'm calling. And a call. Check. Check. Raise. Check. Oh, check, check. That'll be a check. I'm gonna check. Let's see if you blink. I'm all out. in. Oh, he went all in? This guy folds? So this guy's definitely sitting on... Huh. Well, Ace King is okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think he just bet that guy out. I'm pretty sure this guy had like a four or something. <laughs> Come to daddy. I can't lose him for playing that way. Not bad. All right, uh, Abdul, is it? Yes. I call. I'm gonna call. Cool. Just a call, just a call, and then another call. Looks like they want a family pot, but am I gonna let them have it? No. Let me take down what they've got right here. Let's go ahead and raise this. There's 24 in the pot. I'm gonna make a pot-sized bet. Raising. I'm calling. I'll call. Wow. I'm gonna call. They all want in. This is a huge pot now. This is very worth it for anybody who's drawing. Chicken. I'm a little worried about the queen, but not that worried. Let's go ahead and make a bet. See if anybody will call this. Gonna raise. I'm sitting this one up. All in. That's how you I'm do cool. this. <laughs> oh my god, all in and call. All right. I got nothing. I got to get out. Holding. Eights? Okay, he's got okay, at least he hit something on the board. He's got a 7. But the eights are still winning. Well, no, actually, he just hit himself a boat. So sweet. And by boat, I mean yes. full house. You know, I don't even know why they call a full house a boat, but I've heard people call it a boat a lot, and so that terminology has kind of just stuck with me. So both players had me beat. He actually... You got lucky, man. You got lucky that the turn in river helped you so much. You're almost always the first one to bust out, Jonah. I'll call. I'm gonna call. 
King eight in early position. I'll call the three. I call. Check. Taking. Yes, thank you. Family pot. I have to hit something pretty specific for this to work. Mm, that's not what I was hoping for. Checking. Check. Checking. Check. All right, so I can only draw to a ten to make me happy. But considering how everybody checked, I think I may have the best hand here, unless somebody's sitting there with a three now. So, but you know what? I'm still just gonna. I don't think three hit anybody, and I don't want anybody to catch on the river, so I should just go ahead and bet it. Let's sweeten the pot. I'm out. I could do this all day long. Oh. Okay. So twenty to call you. I don't know what you're drawing to. Let's see what you have. Holding. Well, you got your queen. Okay. He slow played me with his queen. Nice. Ah, bear, you didn't see that coming. I didn't. That's very good. I like this. It seems to me that the skilled play feels more skilled than expert play. Because I think in expert, they go all in a lot. They they raise really aggressively. Um, it's not good play. It just oh, cool. leads to a shorter game. My hand sucks. I'm gonna go. I check. Not sure if I like these green chips. I'll raise you. Seven, nine, and four. We got a raise coming from Abdul. Miguel folds. Um, and Jonah fold folded. Jonah folded first. Miguel folded next. All right. So we're sitting there with a pair, a pair of fours. That's how it's done. I don't like how they mix up. They actually don't use the right terminology in this. Whenever somebody puts chips in and nobody else has in a round, it's called a bet and not a raise. So the first person to actually put chips in in a particular round is betting, not raising. And they say the word raise there when it's actually a bet. I'll point it out next time. Okay, this is good. And this is in good position too. See, this would actually be a raise because there's chips already in the pot. So let's go ahead and make a small raise with this. Raising. I fall. I call. I call. All right, so Jonah and Miguel both calling me. And I'm in last position, so I have... I have everything working for me here. Right, check. On, check. check, check. They didn't hit anything there, and I don't want them to hit anything. So, let's go and make another raise. 20. Raise. Oh. I'm gonna call. All right, so we got a caller. He's drawing to something. Or he's sitting on a five. Some crap like that. I'm gonna check. All right, I'll check it to you. I'm gonna check. A two. My chick. Hmm. Do I think Queen High will win it? I don't know, but I don't have a lot of money in my in my chip stack to gamble on Queen High, do I? Like I said, I I put him on a five early on, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that he's got a five. Come on, make a move. Okay, and if he's got a five, he's probably not gonna call. It's actually not letting me raise. Oh yeah, I have to go all in. Let's sweeten the pot. I'm all in. All right, fine. So I'm there. What is your hand? I don't see what you actually have over there. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I could look at it right here. Sitting there with his ace king. This is fantastic. <laughs> Shut up. You had a low chip stack. All right. So some of you may be wondering how come I went all in and lost, but I'm still sitting at the table. It's because he had fewer chips than I did. So my all-in covered him, which means um, if he lost, he would have busted out. But me losing means I just give him whatever he had in his stack. I'll call. Oh, fuck. I'm going to raise. Mm. Take it. I fall. Wow. Go Miguel. That's how it's done. <laughs> You're coming back from short stack, man. Maybe I can do that too. Loving this music. It's to Jonah. I call. Cool. 
Call, call. I can put another three dollars in with this. You know what? That's enough money in the pot that I think I can try and take it with a king. And they are suited, so let's play. Let's go all in. I'm all in, and we've got Miguel calling, Jonah calling, and Miguel calling. Sweet. Okay, so we've got every. I, I stand to quadruple up here if the flop hits me. All right, so there's a king. This is good. Let's make this interesting. I'll call. I'm out. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling that my seven kicker is not good here? <laughs> oh, this is so scary. I'll check. There's more where that came from. Let's see if you blink. I can do this all day long. My God, they're so aggressive. This is horrible. This means I. There's no possible way that I win this. Ten nine and ten nine. Really? You guys are sitting there on a pair of nines doing all that? Sweet, I'll take all the money. That's good. I'm good with that. Between Abdul and Jonah. Alright, so they split because they had 10-9. Both of them had the same hand, so they both win half of the side pot. You see that? They both win $113. Now, for the main pot, which is what I was participating in, and I can only quadruple the 30 or so dollars that I put in, I actually take that down awesome. with, with my pair of kings. So now I'm coming back from my short stack and making Thank you, Lady Luck. $92 off of whatever I had prior. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. <laughs> so everybody got a piece of that pot, which is nice. Abdul and Jonah, small blind and big blind respectively. Miguel is first to act. What do you got? I'll call. Just a call. Ugh. Again, aces. Aces can get me into trouble. I slow played them. That's a mistake that a lot of people make whenever they get aces, is they slow play them. That's a mistake I made. Um, I shouldn't have slow played my aces last time, and I won't slow play them this time. Raise. I raise. I'll call. No choice. Wow. Went ahead and put himself all in. That's good. I will call his all in instead of going... Alright, I have two options here. I can either go all in myself... Hoping to push these two out, making it heads up against this guy, which gives me only one hand to beat instead of three hands to beat. Or I can just call, hoping to make the pot larger. One is a gamble, one is safer. Let's go with the one that's a gamble and just call his all in. I'll call. Again, I'm calling. slow playing aces, I'm calling. not a good idea. But let's see what happens. Aces do have the best percent chance to win, so. We're hoping to hit something. Really, we're hoping they hit something I'm pretty good. Fold. Right. Yes, we got an all-in and a fold. This guy's already all-in, so let's just go ahead and call it. All-in. All-in. All right, let's see what comes next. Let's see our hands. Okay, we got somebody with a pair of queens. And somebody with, I can't see that because the camera's moving. Nothing. He's got king jack. Four helps nobody. Five helps nobody. I win with my aces. Side pot one. Good Abdul pulls down. Well, um, I won part of the side pot, actually. Uh, Abdul wins absolutely nothing. And then for the main pot, I take that down yes. as well. 292. All right. See, what I did there was, again, let's go ahead and review that hand. At the beginning, preflop, I could have gone all in after uh, Miguel here went all in. And hopefully that would have eliminated Abdul and Miguel. And I wouldn't have had to play against their hands, making it just heads up against one hand, but the pot would have been smaller. That's the safer way to play your aces. You want to go up against fewer hands, because the more hands there are in the pot, the more likely that someone's going to catch something off the wall and beat your aces. The second option is to embrace that fact, the fact that there can be more hands in the pot, which means you just call uh, Miguel's all in. You would just call that, hoping that the other two call and put more in the pot, which is the one that I went for. It's the gamble that I went for. Um, again, you're going up against more hands in this case, which means there's more more of a chance that you're going to lose. But the flip side is that your aces do have the best chance to win, and hopefully you can win a very large pot by playing the way that I just played. And that's how it actually all played out. So this is good. It turned out well for me. I was very low stack a moment ago. Now I'm sitting here. Thank you, lady on $330, which is a win even for an expert level here. So now we're three-handed. Miguel's the first one to bust out this game. Maybe I could make back that 250 that I lost earlier. I'm first to act here. King seven. I'll be in fairly good position if I can bet him out. 
I'm gonna call. I thought I was I thought I was first to act here, never mind. Guess it's my turn now. Oh, I'm in big blind. Right, okay. Um say both already called. I'm just gonna go ahead and check. Checking. Hi. So I got a pair of sevens. There's I'm an ace out there. Yeah, you're checking. I don't think anybody's got an ace. These guys get, tend to raise when they have an ace. I think I have the best hand here. Let's go ahead and make a bet. Raising. No, I'm betting. Out. I'm out. Okay, so they're both out. Yeah, I didn't think any of them had an ace. I figured my sevens were good. I didn't want them to catch anything over my seven, though. So, take it down here. Thank you, Lady Luck. I've proven myself to be quite a marksman. The bartender just throws that out there. <laughs> it's really weird. All right, so I can complete my small blind here with ten king. Yeah, I'm getting pretty decent hands. I'm gonna raise it. I'm gonna pot size bet it. Raising. I'm all in. I fold. Let's sweeten the pot. Okay. So he's all in. He had to go all in to call my raise. I'm ahead here. I've got kings, and they're suited. Also, same diamonds. Nobody has anything yet. I have a pair of tens. Yeah, he couldn't win after that ten came out. There's nothing he could possibly do. So I'm sitting here on two pairs. And I just took out... Thank you, Lady Luck. Abdul. Down he goes. Now, I normally don't play heads up. I don't really like heads up. I don't find it exciting. I don't find it fun. But in this case, he's got a lot of chips. I want to try and win that money. So let's go ahead and play a little bit of heads up play. I could do this all day long. Okay, so he raises. <laughs> I'm sitting here on 6 4. Um, no, you can have it. Holding. Ah, you didn't see that coming. Mm, I kind of did. I didn't care. I was, you know, it's pretty flop. Looking for a face card here. Face cards are good to play heads up. Cause there's only two hands. Hi. All right, see what I got. Cause it's to me. Okay, this is good, and I'm in a good position. So let's go ahead and raise this up. Let's do the same thing he did to me. Put it up to 16. Raise. Oh. Now I upped it by 16, so I raised it to 19. Or up to 19. Alright, so we're just exchanging pots here. Lucky. I'm never this lucky. You've proven yourself to be quite a marksman. Thanks, yeah. I can shoot really well. Shot a tiger in the face. Twice! With a bow! Two arrows. Then I got the arrows back. <laughs> it was awesome. Thanks, but I was talking about my bow. Anyway. Thank you, Lady Luck. So Jonah decided to fold pre-flop before even completing his bet, so I'll just take down the I'll just take down the pot. He had nothing worth completing his blind with. So it's good to know that he's capable of doing that. You've proven yourself to be quite a marksman. Alright, these railbirds are getting annoying. Okay, this is a good hand. I'll raise. I raise. Whoa, I raise and he re-raises. Maybe he's got a better hand than mine. But the ace can be good, so I'm going to call. Alright, we're actually going to gamble. We're actually going to see a flop this time. Heads up play typically comes down to battle of pre-flop. There can be a lot of folding going on. Alright, what you going to do, man? I'm going to check. You're checking that, are you? That's a sign of weakness, my friend. Sign of weakness. See your bet and I'll raise. I raise. Oh, he slow played me. He slow played me. I bet, and then he raised over the top. I think he's got something like King Jack. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get out. Take it. Queen Jack. I was pretty close. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. <laughs> no, I didn't. But I had you read with your bet. It's better it happened there than on the turn, actually. I think I would have been a little more aggressive on the turn. I also, 
I like how I like how your chips are magical and you've got some floating over there. I can't do that. I'm calling. Okay, you're gonna call. Alright, so I've got this ace again. I'm gonna try and take down this pot right here. I'll raise. I call. Okay, I'm not gonna get to take down the pot. This guy plays good heads up play. I do like that they're capable of trickery like that. Check. I'm gonna check. Okay. I don't think he's got a seven or a two. All right. I. I don't think he's got a seven or a two. The king is the only thing I'm really worried about, but I don't think he's got that either. I don't think he's got any of that. I think my ace high is actually good here. I see your bet and I'll raise. Oh fuck! Good skill to have around here. All right. I would have liked to have seen what he had, but I'm actually quite okay with this. Thank you, Lady Luck. Take down this pot, sitting on 326 in my chip stack. Let's see what he's got. I think I can hold one to show totals, or press one. All right, so Jonah, sitting at 274. So if he goes all in, I know I've got him covered. All right, it's to me. Ooh, 910. This is good for a call. Calling. I could do this all day long. Okay, so he raised. I'll go ahead and call again. I'll call. 910 is a great drawing hand. This is the kind of hand that you want to go to the river with if the flop doesn't hit you nicely. If you can get there cheaply. See? I've already I'm got... Okay, he's he's raising, but I have a straight draw, and it's open-ended. See, I've got 7, 8, 9, and 10 for my straight, meaning I can catch a 6 or a jack to make me happy. And he made it a fairly small bet, so I'm going to call it. I'm going to call but I've got to be careful for another club dropping, because a club could make a flush. I'm gonna check. Okay, he's checking. I'm gonna go ahead and check it too. Check. I'm hoping to catch a six or a jack. I hear you're pretty handy with a gun. Don't got it. So I'm gonna raise. Okay, he's raising and I'm folding. Great. See, the hand didn't play out the way that I wanted it to, but it was a good gamble. So he's sitting there with a pair of fives. <laughs> sitting there with a pair of fives in his hand. Sevens and fives. That's good. See, if I would have hit a straight there, that would have been fantastic. If that river, if this card right here would have been a six or a jack, that would have been absolutely wonderful. You know why? Because that would have made me a straight, and he would still be sitting there with two sevens and two fives in his hand. So he would call anything that I would bet, because he's got two pairs. But that's not how it played out. However, you didn't see that coming. that's what you're going for whenever you're playing a hand like the one that I just played. That's where the gambling comes into play in Texas Hold'em. You've got to gamble when it's worth it. And never when it's not. Alright, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? I'm going to call. Okay, just a call. Oh, this is nice. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get something out of you here. Gonna raise. I call. Okay. This is a good hand. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have anything worth playing. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any. Well, he has something worth playing, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have anything better than ace queen. Raising. I'm gonna call. All right, he's calling me. Hopefully, he's not drawing to hearts. That would suck. Well, only if he hits him, I guess. Up. Oh. That jack kind of scares me. Checking. I could do this all day long. See, yeah, he was just checking and calling, checking and calling, before this. That jack comes out, and I'm pretty sure that hit him. So I'm gonna get out. Great. He finally makes a bet. No, no, jack didn't actually hit him. Sitting on king three, he's got a pair of threes, which is still better than what I had. All right. I had ace queen. Meaning I had no pair, but you know, a pair of threes is better than ace high. Pair of jacks. I call. Jackie. I mean, not a pair of jacks. I'm aiming for a pair of jacks with this hand. I've got jack three. I want a pair of jacks here, which I'm not gonna get. Jack. Check. 
Let's both check it. Checking. Okay, he's playing fairly weak. Sweeten the pot. I could probably take this. Yeah, I probably take this. Take this pot down with just a small bet. So I put ten dollars out there. Figured I'd try and take the pot down. He didn't have anything, and he was playing very weakly to represent that. And I didn't have anything myself. Never this lucky. But I wanted the pot, and the only way I could take it down was to bet at it. So that's what I did. I've got a queen that works for me. Oh, he's folding. Okay, cool. You've proven yourself to be quite a monster. I'll take those nine dollars. Okay. I hate how it keeps making my camera look off in different directions. They really need to work on that. It wasn't that none of that was happening the last time I played poker. But whatever. Alright, so he's actually ahead of me now. Money keeps changing hands pretty quickly here. And that's how a heads up match tends to work. And usually it just comes down to one massive all in to decide the fate of whoever's playing. I'll call. I'll raise you. How much? Raise to sixteen? With seven ten? Let's go ahead and do it. Just another ten dollars. So he raised me. That tells me he's got something good in his hand at least. I'll raise. <laughs> Alright, fine. I fold. Show me your jack. Yeah. It's in there Jack Four. He made it pretty obvious. All right. Jack Four is good. Heads up. You and your floating chips. Again, mine don't do that. I think I can get by without ever touching the mouse here, which I think will work. Well, no, I have to left click flick in my hand. Ooh, 9 3. <laughs> he folded to me. I had a terrible hand anyway, man. with a gun. That's a good skill to have around here. I'll call. There's more where that came from. <sighs> I should not call this bet. I should not call this bet. I should not call this bet. Or this raise. I should not call this raise. I'm gonna call. But I'm gonna loosen up a little bit. And hope I get lucky. Nope. I'm out. I check. I can check that too. I'll I'm check it down. Check. Problem here is there's a ten and a queen out there already. I mean, oh, sorry, a ten and a four. Alright, so I've got my... I've got a straight draw now. I can catch an ace or a six to make me happy. Check. He's playing very weakly again. But he raised preflop. He raised preflop, which tells me he could have a 10 or a queen. Or any of those other cards. But there's no way 5 high is going to take this. So I'm going to go ahead and gamble a bit and bet at it and hope he gets out. Make a pot size bet. Oh, he called me. Dang it, he called my bluff. <laughs> you called me with that three? You're horrible. You're terrible at this game. <laughs> Actually, I like playing this guy heads up. It's, it's uh, it's challenging. I like it, and this is unskilled. Again, I don't know if which difficulty you choose has a bearing on how aggressive they are, but I think skilled is the one to play on if you like to play real poker. I'm gonna raise. At least that's been my experimentation so far. This is only my second time actually playing. 7 6, I'm going to call with that. There's my 7. That's a good skill to have around here. I could do this all day long. Raised. Hmm. He raised preflop, so a king or a queen are both likely. My hand sucks. This is Queen. All right. 
I hear you're pretty handy with a gun. That's a good skill to have around here. I'm actually getting tired of these guys talking around me. I'd rather just restart the game and go four-handed. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and play this hand out. I got a crappy hand, but let's go ahead and play it out. Colin. I could do this all day long. All right, he's raising. So I'm going to get out. Hold. Yourself to be quite a master. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming. All right, let's sit down again and hope they pick up. We're gonna play on skilled because I like how they play that way. Don't tell me it's just you again. Oh wow, it sits me down in a different chair this time. Oh, this is weird. No, I don't like that. I don't like this. This feels so weird to play from this angle. Whatever. I'll play like this. I'm in a different position cool. now. Alright, Jonah. You're to my right this time instead of directly ahead of me. Suited 2-8. Let's cool. get out. I'm gonna call. Cool. I'll check. Well, the eight would have been good. The two, not so much. I'm gonna check. I'll raise. Miguel checking. Abdul Fold. raising. Jonah folding. Miguel. I'll call. Calling. All right. Here's your river. There's a ten of spades. Checking. Check they both check. Abdul may very well have a nine. I'm gonna check. Race. I'm cool. I think I think Abdul hit a straight. Nah, two pair. That's cool though. Oh yes. Come to daddy. Queens and threes, huh? Sitting there with queens and threes. Now I'll be first to act. King six in a good position. Let's go and raise. Let's sweeten the pot. A call. I fold. Fold. Well, now I'm in a bad position because now I'm first to act. There's an ace out there. I'm going to go ahead and represent it. I'm going to represent this ace. A seer bet and I'll raise. A call. Yeah, maybe he's actually got the ace. I don't think I need to represent it anymore. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Why are you checking? Maybe he knows I'm a bluffer. Oh, that's not gonna work. Check. Check. <laughs> King High not gonna take it, huh? So you're doing that with your pair of fours. Bitch. I hate this, this guy. Fantastic. I should have made another bet. I should have made a follow-up bet, but I thought I put him on the ace. I'll go ahead and post my big blind. Six chips. I'm cool. Race. Miguel calls. Abdul oh, raises. Jonah's out. Dual raised it to oh seven two no thanks out of here. Although they were suited, seven two is the weakest hand in all of Texas Hold'em. I'll raise you. Wish there weren't so many bugs in here. Cads. Fucking cads. <laughs> Makes Abdul first to act. I'll raise. I could do this all day long. A raise and a re raise versus my queen seven. I'm out. Take it. I call. I call. All right. 
Let's see a really good flop. Let's see like two high cards and a rag. Well, that's fine. Two suited cards and a high card. I race. Going all in. Cool. I call. And all in and a call. All in. I'm calling. All right, let's see what you guys got. All right, so ace queen. That's good. Your nines are no good. All right, so Jono takes it down. There's the side pot. Miguel takes the side pot. That's fine. And as for the main pot, I had a chance. <laughs> as I said, Jono takes it down. Jono's doing really well tonight. All right. He was doing horribly before. All right, All right I've got a soda here. I'm gonna take a drink of it. Alright, shot caller with your big old chip stack. Just calling, huh? I'll raise. No choice. I'm calling. My hands suck. <laughs> Alright, so I raised. My buddy here goes all in, because that's the only way he can call. My sevens don't look so hot against the board like that. What are you going to do? Alright, so you're going to check. I'll check it down too. Checking. I don't think that six hit you. Raise. Yeah, you're raising, huh? Trying to slow play your... Pretty sure you have an ace, actually. You don't seem to be phased by any of the action that happened here. I'm gonna get out. Holding. Let's make this interesting. Flip him. Oh, wow, that six did hit him. I was perfectly okay. And there's another ace. Wow. Really surprised by how these guys are playing. It's very different compared to the expert level. They seem more advanced here. They're making slow plays, they're check raising. They're making generally good strategic raises. King three. I call. I'm out. I'll check it. Check him. Well, there's my straight draw. A two or a seven to make it nice. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna raise. I'm gonna call your raise. Calling. I can catch a king, a two, or a seven to make me happy. Not a nine. Checking. I'll raise. Raise twenty chips. Hmm. got one card to come. Again, a two, a seven, or a king. Still what I want. That's still a lot of cards that I can catch. But is it worth it for this pot? Hmm. Play. We don't have all day. Shut up. It'll cost me $20 to win a $55 pot. How many outs do I have? We're going to apply the 4-2 rule here. Um, I have... Eight outs in my straight draw, and I have three outs with my king. So that's 11 outs. That's 11 outs. No, Shut up! That's 11 outs. We multiply that by two, giving me a 22% chance to hit my card on the river. But he's betting just about half the pot, so the odds are not worth it for me here. Take it. And he's sitting there with a straight already, with his 2-3. Wow. All right. Hooray for playing the pot odds. Saved me 20 chips. My hands suck. <laughs> We've all felt that way at some point. Suited Queen-10. I'll raise. I'm sitting this one up. Finally, I get to take down a pot. 
I came out ahead in the last game that we played, but not by much. All right. That's what happens whenever I play heads up. Now this one, I'm down, but I won't be down for too long, I don't imagine. That one chip is just kind of sitting there on the table, and it's confusing me. It's not going away. We have to pretend that it's not there, even though it actually is. Ooh, that's a nice hand. Suited connectors, always good. I'll raise. I'm gonna call. I'm calling. Sweet, I like that. You want a big multi-way pot with these small suited connectors, so that if you hit, you win well. Ooh, see, this is good. I raise. I call. Raise a call. I'm gonna call it too. Call. A number of things can happen here. An 8 could drop, a 5 could drop, another heart could drop. Or that could drop, and I could be in serious trouble. I call. I think I'm in trouble here. Really, the only thing that would please me at this point is another 5. I fall. I'm all in. All in! That's how you do this! We'll take some of your chips back now. There you go. <laughs> uh. Jonah, you are like a big baller here, man. Now I'm gonna be now I'm gonna be heads up against you again. And I really don't wanna do that. Let's go and do it anyway. This is good. I'll call. You can go all in. All in. I raise. You're, yourself you're raising me? Run. I'm already all in. You should just call. I'm gonna raise. No, you're not. You're taking chips back now. <laughs> oh, man. You're a little weird. King 10 versus my A6. I am ahead. I have the better hand at this particular point. But not when he gets two pair right on the flop like that. Oh, there's my ace. Come on. Six or something. Nope. Ah. <sighs> This has been one of those poker nights. One of those poker nights. Where are you, baby? <laughs> Shut up. You have been eliminated. Do you want to play again? No. Screw this. I'm down so much money from this poker game. That's a good skill to have around here. Hey man. I need something to drown my woes. Just kidding. Regardless, that was fun. That was like a great relaxing way to... I hope I'm recording this. I am. That was like a great relaxing way to end this particular session. Ooh, this looks even more relaxing. Despite the weird music. Can I sit? No, I'm gonna like lose a bunch of money playing poker and then I'm gonna be like rage about it. Rah! Oops. <laughs> I fell into. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.